Hi there, this is a no frills, I might add, a little view of the Sony camera. It's a brilliant camera and you don't need to see the box and the cardboard that it came with and the cords because it comes with everything you actually need, almost. So let's get on with it. As you can see the screen pops out from the side like all of the cameras. You've got the varying modes on one screen and then you can go and record or do whatever you need. There's all sorts of settings down there which I'm sure that you would prefer not to see because it's fairly boring and for, well, I've got to be fairly honest here, I don't use them. I put this on standard shooting mode and just let it go. I am not confident to be able to start choosing settings that, to be honest, I know nothing about. So why should I? I like it as it is and to me it works very well indeed. So let's not talk about that so much but now let's have a look at what the features are when you turn it on and make a movie. Here I am standing up and using the zoom to look down towards the shell that's in the center of the screen. Using it in the car you can see here we're driving along at 50 kilometers an hour going round a corner. The road is not that smooth but it's fairly good. Zooming in while I'm driving seems to slow everything down, but in actual fact it doesn't. It's very, very smooth now, and the scenery you'll see as we come round the corner, the end is all intact. It's beautiful in fact, and that's using the zoom inside looking out through the windscreen. Just the camera that we wanted. point that we're looking at now is 3.7 kilometers away from where the car is parked. try the sound out now which is I believe very good on this camera. That's recording the sound directly off my computer speakers and obviously this is my voice and I'm standing of course behind the camera taking the pictures so you can hear how good the sound is. While we look at a still picture of the cyclamen on the table um, I'd like to just mention the stabilization, which on this camera is possibly the best stabilization that Sony actually make. It's great because the lens moves within the housing and takes up all the uh, movements. Like when we were in the car, it didn't jump up and down, yet the car was going in and out of bumps on the road. 
taking the uh, long distance pictures on Zoom, well, yes, you do need a um, some form of uh, tripod which will help you get those pictures crystal clear. But there is a limit that you can use, of course. So, having said all of that, I hope that uh, you would like to buy one of those, maybe. And you will find links throughout the movie to uh, a company that can sell them to you. It's a great company indeed, and uh, I'm sure that you would enjoy it just as much as I do. So, bye for now.